Have you ever gotten yourself into building your own PC? If yes, then you would probably be wondering which CPU you should choose and have only two options, LGA or Land Grid Array or PGA or Pin Grid Array. So here is the main difference between LGA and PGA which will help you in choosing what should you either choose. Let's begin. Before I show you the benefits of both of the processors, I will tell you what actually are they. Let's start with LGA. LGA stands for Land Grid Array. In LGA, the chip has a flat pads on the bottom of its package that touch the contacts of the motherboard of the socket, meaning that the bottom of the processor is completely flat and on the other hand, the pins are on the motherboard on which we will place the processor on. LGA is common in Intel processors. Continuing with PGA. PGA stands for Pin Grid Array. Compared to the previous one, this type of processor has pins on the bottom of this processor rather than having pins on the socket. The sockets have hole in which the pin of the bottom of the processor will fit. PGA is most common in AMD processors. PGA was used in most 2nd through 5th generation processors. These chips are either rectangular or square shaped with pins arranged in regular pattern. Benefits of LGA LGA processors are less likely to be damaged by mishandling and if you drop it, there is less chance of damaging the processor because of no fragile pins. This is because LGA pins are smaller in size allowing for more pins in the same amount of space. This property makes LGA much safer than PGA, which has the risk of damaging the pins if dropped or mishandled. Benefits of PGA PGA processors are easier to install rather than LGA. This is because the pin on PGA are much thicker than pins on the LGA. In PGA, the pins go straight into the holes which are on the sockets and make it obvious if the processor is in or not. While on the other hand, LGA lacks this property and is more difficult to install. The pins on PGA are much easier to fix rather than LGA. Now you know the difference between both the processors, now it's time for the question, which one is better? In my opinion, LGA based CPUs are superior to PGA. A damage to pins on a CPU can be more expensive than damage on the pins of the motherboard. A CPU is often twice or, if not, multiple times as expensive as the motherboard. This makes LGA the clear winner, but for all the people who support PGA, or in clear words, AMD, please don't be furious on me, because at the end both Intel and AMD are wonderful brands, but the differences one is good at something while the other is not. If you found something useful in this video, please give it a thumbs up and take care. My name is Cheyenne and I will see you in the next one.